Now, you may have spotted our next guest earlier today in the form of his alter ego, Zaza. He's a firm friend of the show and is back to help us celebrate our 10-year anniversary. Please welcome John Barrowman. <laughs> the ladies oh, on your birthday so thank just you. because you're all flowering oh, petals that's and I know you like something big and prickly <laughs> happy birthday You don't look a day over eight and a half. <laughs> Thank you. So you. You've got a lot of memories, haven't you, of us? Because you've been on what? How many times? Nine, Nine times. Nine times. Nine. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Is this the ninth or is this the tenth? I, I'm not really sure. And, and does the one, when you're on about a half an hour or so ago, does that count? Because yeah, you were somebody that, else. No, well, maybe that does, maybe it doesn't. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. No, but, uh, I yeah. Know which I like best, really. Really? Oh, I quite like you're Zaza. You're a bit saucy, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I, what's really funny for me and really great, and I've, I know I've said this before, but again, to Loose Women and to the show, you guys have, have uh, uh, played a huge part in the kind of build of John Barrowman's career, and I just want to say thank you very much, and it's appreciated, Aww. and uh, I probably wouldn't be he where I am to a certain extent without Loose Women, wow. so thank you very much. That's very generous. Yeah. Your, your favorite moment on Lucy Min because you have been on so many well, there's, times. Well, there's been loads, but I think the most surreal thing that you ever made me do <laughs> was a wedding for dogs. You begged oh. to do that. Did you I really? Shut up. You did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we've got a clip of it. Oh, 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 funny oh. that. <laughs> As is often the case in the modern world, Charlie took the brave step of posting an advert on the Loose Women show stating he will like to meet a pretty bitch who wasn't too much of a wag. He received literally thousands of offers from willing wolves. I won't go there, wanting to offer their paws in marriage, but the minute he sniffed out Dolly, what? He knew she was the bitch for him. Are you kidding me? This is an afternoon show. I now pronounce Charlie and Dolly wolf and wife. You may now rub noses or sniff bottoms, whatever it is dogs do. Needs clearing up at home. That's when uh, what a th what a thing to say. Needs clearing up at home. There's dogs in the studio. That was when Sherry's dog. Mar was it your dog? No, 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 no. My, no, 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 no that was a, a, that was a another viewer's dog. Yeah, viewer's yeah. dog. They married them together. Yeah, no. Oh, lovely. My we, dog. We did the dating service, didn't we, for mm. Sherry's dog, and then then that dog got yeah. married You're to that dog. You're saying that as if it's perfectly normal yeah. and reasonable. <laughs> well, it was to Sherry. Put it that way. Listen, <laughs> she's had a few dogs in her life. Believe me. <laughs> Haven't we all? I don't think it lasted, though. I don't think they were very no. compatible, do you? Really not, no. Yeah, I think it was over the minute they walked out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, that really should have ended your career, shouldn't it? Yes, it should yes, have, but somehow yes. it just blossomed somehow from that point on. Somehow your career went from strength to strength. I, I and think you, it, you are everywhere, aren't you, now? Uh, well, I, it's, you know, it, I treat myself, I'll be totally honest, you know, you, know the, you were talking earlier about people changing who they are and changing their personas. Mm. I, I'm li what you see is what you get, and uh, I've always been that way. I've always believed that. I mean, you've known me f uh, from way back with mm -hmm. uh, Dancing on Ice Days, and I'm, I've, I've seen parts of you that women in the yeah. audience can't reach. Pay money to see. We <laughs> <laughs> saw them earlier. Parts that I was sitting on earlier. <laughs> anyway, um, no, but, so, but and I, you know, I just always believe that people should be the, be be truthful to yourself yeah. and be who you are, and I think that. I can only say that's what people kind of like. What would you say is the truthful part to you, if you like, in terms of professionally? Because obviously we've got very used to you at the moment. You're on telly all the time, yep. not only as an actor, you know, do, uh, in Torchwood and that. Yep. Um, doing very well, the prime time Saturday night BBC show. Yep. And now you're in the West End. Yeah. Or, or would you say that you're all of those things just mashed together? My word for myself is entertainer. That's how I see it, and I don't. A lot of people would shy from that word or shun it because they think, "Oh, it's it's detriment. It's it's not a good word." I want to be, you know, one thing or the other. I'm an entertainer, which uh, you know brings all of that together. And mm. I know what I was put on this planet to do, and that's entertain people. And I treat myself. I'm I'm my product. John Barrowman is the product of the business, okay. and I'm and I'm there to, to, and who's to push Zaza, him and then? Well, Zaza <laughs> is part of the show that I'm employed with, and the reason I you know I came on as Zaza, it's uh, to promote. Obviously, La Caja Fall, and a lot of people might not want to do that. But you know what? I think 
What the hey? People will have a laugh if I come on and drag. You Are you enjoying it? it? Uh, listen, listen. The most <laughs> liberating <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm, I, I have to be honest with you. I'm. I like my cars. I like my mechanical stuff. I'm a gadget freak. But there's something really liberating about wearing a frock. <laughs> <laughs> and high heel You're shoes. Very well, darling. Thank you, you very, very much. Well. I don't know why you guys complain about high heel shoes so much. <laughs> I've had no back pain since I've had high heels yeah, but you on. You've been wearing them since you were 13. How do you know? Well, <laughs> How do you know? Yeah. I used to... Uh, uh, Take that one through. I used to... Uh, uh, sn sometimes... I can't believe I'm going to tell you this story. When I was a little boy, I used to go into my mother's closet and I used to take her shoes out and I would walk around the house with the Hoover when she wasn't home. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a video of that. If I do, I'll send it to you. <laughs> and how, how long are you going to be in the show for? Uh, I'm in the show until the end of November. Okay. And then I go off to do pantomime, which I do every year for yeah. uh, Kudos and, and Paul Elliott. And I'm really looking forward to that because that's where I get to perform for kids. Okay. And I get to introduce them to the theatre. And which where's is that? A, that's in Cardiff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. lovely, lovely. As ever, you've been fabulous. Thank you. Friend and of the show. Yep. And you Thank heard you. it from him. It's all our fault that he's as successful as he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's John Barrowman, everyone. <laughs>